Hi everybody, welcome back to this one. My name is Guri and I hope you're having a wonderful day today. So I'm bringing you guys a project fan for stationery. The reason why is because first I was inspired by TBH Studying who started this also a project pan for her stationery because she was getting overwhelmed with the amount of stationery that she has just like me i have a lot of pens pencils um markers fine liners you name it because it gives me serotonin okay but i have so many to the point that i don't want to neglect anything and i don't want anything to it away so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to try to use up any, everything that i have open with the main goal is to see what i have in my collection what i can start rotating in my daily -day life uh, see what i like what i don't like what i'm not going to buy a second time if i had the option and yeah i just want to use up my stuff because i don't want to be wasteful that's it i just don't want to be wasteful and I'm going to divide this video into like three parts first a declutter then the things that I, I want to pan and finally an empty let's start with the declutter I am going to declutter these paper make enjoy pens why because I despise them every time that I use them they just fill me up with so much anger because the ink skips a lot my handwriting looks disgusting with them because the I don't know if it's the tip that is so chunky it's like 1m but it just makes my handwriting look so horrible and this and the ink skips so much and the tips sometimes get really crusty so when you're trying to write it sounds so scratchy it just infuriates me okay to the point that if I'm so infuriated by pens when I'm studying it's not good because I'm not gonna be try I'm not going to be trying to use them up that's my problem with these pens is because I'm so mad at them every time that I'm going to use them that I tend to like avoid them and I tend to like neglect them to the so I can't have these here okay I can't have these here I'm going to pass them out to my nine-year-old cousin of course she's nine she doesn't need to do a lot of notes but she could use these for like practice in her drawings so i'm just gonna give her these and she's gonna give them a new life but i'm just happy to get them out of my life now let's start with the things that i want to use up okay, so the first thing that i want to hit pan on big in is this pilot g tech c4 pen as you can see it's almost empty when i started this project it was up to here almost full of ink and i emptied it so much over the summer studying french and i'm very proud of myself because this will be the first pen that i hit pan on and i'm just so excited to just finally get rid of it i also have this zebra c grip as you can see almost no ink it was the one that i was using for italian again super excited i also have these two stabilo ones this stabilo i at some point i did switch it with the pilot one because i just wanted to use this ones a little bit more because i've had these stabilo since like what first year of university that was like four or five years ago it's been a long time and it's about time they start using these ones and this one i haven't used it a lot over the summer i've actually used it minimally but I'm going to start using them for grad school for my first class notes. I also have these C grips in these colors. Um, these, the purple and pink ones were the one that I used for French, and the pink one and the lime green and forest green ones were the ones that I used for Italian. As you can see, this is the amount of ink in the the pink, the green, lime green. I haven't used as much of, of the green ones as the other two but that's going to be changing because I will use those for class notes. I also have these Pilot Friction highlighters. I like these highlighters a lot. Um, there's barely any yellow and pink so I'm in the right direction. I bought them, I think I w I'm gonna say at the start of the pandemic because when the pandemic started I actually got rid of all my highlighters and pens because my motivation was so stunted that I wasn't doing revision notes. I was just reading off the powerpoints and I only kept one Office Depot yellow highlighter because it was the only thing I needed. So yeah, I gave all my highlighters and pens to my mom so they wouldn't go to waste and she used them up but then i started analytical chemistry and immunology and i needed highlight more highlighters for them so i bought these ones and they've been doing great and i would totally recommend these they're very good they're very pastel which i like i would mm, i like my yellows to be like bright yellow and this one just didn't cut it out for me that much i did use quite a lot of it but i also had like a sixth 
um, bright yellow highlighter to like complement these ones but if you just want soft colors these ones are the best not gonna lie i also have this my liner brush pen this is the highlighter that i use for italian over the summer and i like that the brush pen is very flexible at least for highlighting text but if you want to fill in a square or a bubble or whatever i don't like this ink because this ink I don't know if it's just too liquidy because it needs to be a brush pen. I don't know. I know that I have different types of paper with different types of ways. And somehow this tip or this ink just always ends up ruining the paper. And I don't like that. So I really want to get rid of this as much as possible, as fast as possible. So I can use its chisel tip ones that I have tried to fill in squares and circles with like a purple one that I bought also for French. And it it's great it doesn't ruin the paper but yeah this one ruins the paper so i wouldn't recommend these if you want to fill stuff in finally for pens i have these office depot fine liners this is a very chunky tip i don't know if you can see here but it's i think these are 1m tips but i don't know what they have that they do make my handwriting look better than the paper made ones and i've had these for a long time i think i've had these since my third year of university something like that i know that they spent a lot of time with me i didn't finish them up in my bachelor's because i was i was mostly using pencil in my bachelor's for my revision notes but i want to change that for my master's and my phd i want to see how much progress i can make with these i'm already seeing a little bit into the future i think i'm going to neglect the most the orange ones and the yellow ones because they're I don't know if they're just so bright that you can barely see my handwriting and uh, you can't barely make it out. So I think those ones are going to be the ones that are most mostly the neglected that I'm, I'm probably going to pass down to my cousins. But yeah, the rest of the colors are very vibrant and you can actually see my handwriting through them. So I will see how much progress I can do with these ones. But I see a very positive out outcome with these. Now, finally, for the things that I want to hit pan are is this tombow correction tape as you can see i've already started using it and now for my empty the empty that i have right now is this other tombow correction tape i used this one over the summer for a french and italian as as you can see it's completely empty which makes me a very proud person so i missed the trash can but you know i just threw that in the trash can i am so happy with that and yeah um comment down below something that you want to hit pan on on your stationery tell me down below if you hoard as much stationery as i do like what do you want to get rid of first i think i'm definitely going to get try to get rid of first the pilot one and the sea grip one because I've, as you saw those are the ones that have the least amount of ink in them so those ones are going to be, be easy to the clutter but the one that i want to do the most progress with is definitely the office depot ones the fine liners yeah i want to do the most with those ones so i can just feel at peace with like finishing something you know once i finish those ones off or like little by little i'm going to be so much at peace with myself because that's all i think that's all i think this is the end of the video um i hope you guys like th this i hope you guys like this i know it's a little bit more tricky to do a project pan with stationery because you can't see your progress as much with like some materials or some types of barrels but i will try my best to like keep you guys updated i know for sure that an update will come soon with some pen i'll leave my instagrams here i hope you follow me if you want and subscribe and like this video if you if you want to i'm not gonna force you to do anything but yeah, I hope you have a great day, night, wherever you are, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!